My name is Olivia Page Whitney. I am a junior here at Carthage. I'm an English minor with a theater and Japanese double major. I'm a part of the Merely Players Improv Troupe. I'm in the Carthage Neil Futurists, the Carthage Women's Ensemble, um, the Honorary th Theater Fraternity Alpha Psi Omega, and I'm also an English Departmental Fellow. I love Merely Players, we're like a family. We do improv and we practice three times a week, two hours a day. It's, it's my home. I've been there since freshman year, first semester, and those guys and girls are really my family. I did go to China with the Carthage Women's Ensemble for two weeks. Like, we got to interact with actual students. We sang with a fellow women's choir from the Nanjing School of Arts that we were at, and also a children's choir, which was amazing, because they were so cute, and they were so excited if you could just remember their name. Not even remember it, just repeat it back to them when you said it, and they'd clap. When we went there, they, um, we finished the concert, and they encored us. They literally clapped and screamed for more, which was something that never happens in a choir concert in America. So it was like vastly different for them and it was vastly different for us because of the way they responded. So when we were in Nanjing, we were on a walk actually. We had a free morning and there was a park on our right, like filled with like little children, like, I don't know, six months to three years old. We had Danae with us and also an Asian studies professor, Dr. Yudri. And he's fluent in Chinese and we had a song um, called Bring Me a Little Water, Sylvie, that involves body percussion. So we thought it'd be cool to do like a flash mob for these children and their families. And we did it for them and they started, they picked up the children's hands and they started clapping them and like trying to do it with us. Yudri talked more with them and they like, we like gained this trust between us. And they let us play with their, their children in the park for like half an hour. And it was so fun because the kids didn't mind that we looked different and they actually cried when we left too. And we're like, oh, you're breaking our hearts, don't cry. It was, it was really, really cool. In China, there's a lot of different food to eat. I mean, some of the strange things that I ate there was duck tongue, duck liver, I think I ate lung at some point. But the weirdest thing that I ate, and I was pretty adventurous about things, was a fried scorpion. So my friend bought one, there was three on there, and she had one, and another friend had one, and they're like, come on Paige, you're the most adventurous out of all of us, you gotta do it. And I was like, fine, and so there's, I just, I hesitated and finally I ate it and it really was just kind of like fried chicken, just crispy. There wasn't a whole lot to it, but that was like a big accomplishment that I could be like, I ate a scorpion. I went to China and I ate a scorpion, so that was fun. I would absolutely go back to China. I think we only saw just a fraction of what that place has to offer and all the cities and even within the cities we missed so many things, so I would love to go back and explore more. With Carthage, I think there's a lot of opportunities that you wouldn't get at a bigger school. There's so many like travel opportunities offered to you, be it through J-Term or like there's been different theater productions that have traveled like to Ireland or to Scotland. This year we're going to Italy and I'm a part of that too. So it's like there's so many opportunities as long as like you don't have to look hard to find them. They're right there for you and they're so accessible and so worth it.